All right, welcome back to Smoke Down. Um, I'm off to sell the buyer. I'm going to get a fusion three. Um, we need a buyer on the farm all the time, and I need to get some silage bales made. <coughs> As you know, on this one, I'm doing baling a lot of it. Uh, it's not something I normally do, but uh, I thought we'd we'd give it a go on this particular farm. So I'm off to sell the baler. We're going to get a fusion free, and I'm also going to rent the big M for a couple of hours to do one of the uh, grass fields. I think some grass fields down by the BGA, which isn't too far from the uh, rental or from the equipment shop. We're slowly getting on with the uh, halves and everything. We're now on, I think, the last uh, maize field. Uh, so, uh, so, look. Uh, yeah, we're done nine. We're now on six. And that should be getting well through. That is, that's about halfway through. We've got about three quarters of an hour or so with the uh, baler on, uh, with the hire on the uh, combine on that. We then take that combine back. And we will pick up another one. We'll probably leave that till the next day, actually. And we will, we will pick up one of the big, the big New Holland in-game ones. I know you want to see mods, but uh, it's got one big advantage. <laughs> it can tow its head on, or a tractor can tow it. We'll probably use a tractor to tow it rather than a combine, especially with damage mod on. It might be a little bit more gangly. Then we all have a good getting the rest of them done. But whilst they're doing that, you know, I can also get this grass done. And I've got two here is uh, grass. Yeah, this is grass, isn't it? So uh, we have a got two, I think. We own two, actually. So we might as well cut the grass off that. Just have to find a way in, but uh, we'll worry about that later. That's a beet field there by the looks of it. As so I'm going to buy the uh, pilot, I'm going to leave that back in the shop with this tractor. Just take the uh, Uh, the big M and uh, try and find a way out. I rent it for two hours. I shouldn't need it for two hours, I would have thought half an hour should be plenty, but uh, you never know. And what I will be doing too is collecting all the straw from the rest of the crops they harvest, if they make straw, to put in the compost master, because that was quite a nice little earner. Yes, it costs a lot for diesel, but it more than made up for it when we came to sell the compost. <clears throat> I'm not going to sell compost, I'm not going to use it. Um, I hopefully want to get the animals going. I, should, I think I've got the animal value mod on here. And I will just tweak that a little bit, possibly to give a little bit more muck out of it. But at the cost of more food going in, so more going in one end, the more will be coming at the other. Oh, let's see, let's see in here. Let's... Oh, I must drive it in. Just, uh... Stop that there. Get out. Just unhook it. Still don't want to get stuck in there, which is a pity because as I was said on the other video, if I get that one stuck, I will try and save that piece of equipment. I wonder if I can put the photo away there and uh, just show how to get out of it. No, I don't want that one. So, yeah, the perm is. <laughs> 
in the uh, in the cell point oh, that's it. We're, right, we're as far forth as we can get there this is what comes us not wanting to back in that's got it so we sold that now we will just buy oh, right on it let me get this out first and so we get fusion 3 on here let's have a look it's pile technology under mods that's this one 71s we buy that just going to hook up to it Most people use the uh, that big, I think it's Krohn, um, from the contest, um, the winner of the contest, but I prefer the Fusion, personally. It suits the typical British farm a bit more. Okay, these could run, easily run, this farm could easily run the big baler, <coughs> the continuous baler, but I like this one. And Everybody and his wife is using the uh, big chrome, so I thought I'd be different. I'm going to run the three on here, and I'm going to get the two from one of the other maps, I think. Just park, just turn this round and park this up. That'll do, I'll leave that here, and I, so I ain't going to want that until after I've done the grass so we now need to find up put it in here of course mowers yes we have got it in here I'm gonna rent this uh, we run it for two hours so I don't think we'll need it for two hours but so we've got to use the rental the rental mod quite a bit by when when we can, but most of the time we're going to run right. Switch the beacons on. Switch on. I am. I, once I get out of the yard, I will go in care food, but the in care food isn't very good. Alright, let's go in care now. As you can see not helped by would you believe the st real star of the channel Alice decided to put in the parents again and I hope these trees are low enough because those front cutters do stick up quite a way I might have to take a chain so I'll just remove a few branches if not I used this on the early days in Old Ridge Tell the story got to the point we didn't have half the, the meadows we had heard. So uh, for that to get that from one place to another, I had to cut a lot of branches off. I'm not cutting full trees down anymore. I'm just cutting branches off. And I'm hoping that. Uh, Class will soon finish and oh there come that is blocked. Oh is or is he unloading? I think he might be unloading, I hope so. Hmm. Let have a look. Just gonna stop here. Just jump across to the And uh, no he's not. This, this old trick of course play of deciding to stand right in the way of the combine. So what we will and as you can see we've got 42 minutes left on this so we know really are playing against the clock and what I'll do is I'll call the tractor out to it just to get him out of the way <clears throat> so if he's coming in that side he's going to be in the way again that is a problem when they unload the carbines from the uh, from the crop side it tends to get 
in the words of what we do is once he's done and emptied that off again. Alright, I'm gonna take over this for a moment. Uh, there we go. And just put him right out of the way over here somewhere. It'd be better if I could look around a bit, that's it. I'm gonna leave him there. I want to try of course again but it's getting done slowly now we get back to this the one problem with rental mode you don't want too many hold ups well, I've got the class I feel I've got the class now it's, it should be relatively simple to get back to the uh, workshop Remember that you have to uh, drop the implement back at the shop if not all kinds of problems occur. Now I'm not certain where the entrance is on this. I'm hoping it's actually off this path rather than the one going up to the, uh, the farm. <coughs> Must be because that is uh, that's beat, so it's not that one anyway. It's the next one along. Oh, there's another perfect, is it? No, it's alright. So far, we didn't hit anything, no damage. Oh, I'm glad several people are enjoying the. The little uh, how to uh, calm the damage mod um, it does make it, I think, more useful, especially if you still got the maintenance charge on. If it wasn't, if the maintenance charge wasn't on, I wouldn't have bothered so much. Uh, which way do we get in there? Ah, I think he's been sneaky. I think you had to come in the other side. What I want to do is actually come over here, park up, up and spend some time just walking around. Go into the field and see if we can find where the entrance is. This is normally the way when I'm on a map, which I haven't been everywhere, even when I have, if I can't find my way in. I would take a walk around the boundaries and that's yeah, I think I'm if I can take it into high speed mode. What I'm looking for is a gateway and I was hoping there'd be one be there, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's round by the farm. This is a big meadow this. I would. Ah yes, we have to go in the farm. Yes we do we That's that there. Ah, this goes right here. What I'm going to do is open that up ready. So we've got to go back to the farm. There's no other way through, but there's like no way through up here, is there? Ah, ah no, that's the gate to that. Oh, it's wide all the way. Oh, dash. One call is certainly. I won't say made things difficult, but he certainly made things interesting. I know there's a way through up here. Over oh, 12, and a 12 has got an opening. Ha 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 ha. Right, we need another L1 and we can go in this way. Just need to this go to normal speed. Mind you, we've got to get through that gateway first. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to reverse in actually. And out of cab.
Now we go back and curve. Oh, I'm going to leave that gate open. And we go around the outside of this field to that gate. So it's going to be easy to get the bales back to the farm. It's, uh, it's through where we started on field foot. Not far off field 31. That must be through here somewhere. So you can't actually see, oh yes, there's a gap is here. Uh, New Holland's got itself into trouble. Darren City, Dan Phil. It's up that way, look, it's miles away. Yes. The OEB weight is beginning to be uh, unrecognisable. And now it's long, we've got 35 minutes, and we've got. I think this might be a case that can't, with five minutes to go, we're going to have to take this back no matter what. And we have to risk that we lose some of the crop. Oh well. Carry on. There we go. Alright, I think we can take it into the field a bit more and unfold it. I do like this bit of kit, and apparently there's a Mark II on the way from, from what's known as some old blokes, used to be a wee bee. There is a, there, there has been a few issues with not always going off the ground properly, but uh, there is a patch line of code to change, which apparently fixes that. I, I have no had problems. I will have so I have never had any problems with this at all, so uh, if you have had them, I don't doubt there's been problems, but uh, I haven't. Especially using drive control. Uh, see how we do on this. I'm going to go around the outside a couple of times and do some up and downs. It shouldn't take long actually. It never, normally doesn't take very long at all with this. And there's the other gateway up ahead of us. And this one we will have to uh, fertilise and play hell with because it's our own metal. And we will be wanting to use this more and more. And I think it's painted grass on the outside there, so we will try not to cut into that. But we will need silage, and there's two ways to do it bunker or bale. When I say bunker, it's bulk and bale, really. Bulk can be bunker, or there is some silo mods which I've, I've used and I'm using one on Old Ridge which works I just got to keep I have to keep going over to the class and just see how close it is to run out of time I thought I would just pay the fine for being late with it we might just do that let's just see what we're doing here Oh, we're miles out from the outside. The boot of this too is that it lays its own windrow. I'm going to come outside so I can get more of it. So it's a one, it's a one pass solution for cutting grass. It's just it's too big for old ridge. And there's there's one of those bits I think where it's hitting a few problems. So what we're going to do now? Is it? Bring in diff locks. 
Probably a little bit of a, a hump in the field there. If I bring diff logs in, and actually now we're there, you know what diff logs do, they stop. The thing would be very heavy to steer with diff logs in. Very heavy indeed. In fact, I wouldn't want to steer. The idea of diff lock is that the wheels don't steer, they go straight, but that both, both the front wheels and both the rear wheels are locked together. And I'm about to have a drink, so if you hear the spoon in the cup. I, I haven't been using this mod much, this, this one, but the more I use it, the more I think this is the only way to actually cut grass. And I'm looking forward to the Mark II coming out. I will be certainly downloading that as soon as it comes out. And so far my experience with some old blokes and their new site, uh, Modding Central has been nothing but good. The few problems I had is one or two mods. They have soon sorted me out. Well, if I tell you, it took me in the back room and beat me up a bit until I said, no, there's nothing wrong with this mod. That is a joke, by the way. They're very, very nice people. And it's nice and free and easy on that site. Very few uh, jobs worth on there. Which is how we try and run PCSG. Treat everybody as if they're an adult until we're pro until proved different. And the individual who has proved us wrong is the one who takes the blood run, not the majority. I will miss a bit because I'm not bothered about big over that I'm trying to keep it as close as possible. If I really want to do this really efficiently I'd bring the GPS mod in but uh, I'm not that uh, bothered. I'm going to have plenty of grass I would say. The conditions of it look quite good. I will put some N on as soon as we're cut rather than NPK. As grass, as you may know, it takes mainly nitrogen, takes some PK, but its main source of energy is through nitrogen. The pH is good. I shall put liquid N on, I think, to keep the moistures up nice and high. Looks like uh, the tractor's going to get in the way for a little while. The car and tractor is uh, full. I'm going to, uh, hopefully, in the next episode, this should be fit to go back to have a look at soil mine, have a look at field 31, and see what it needs after one growth period prior to actually um, seeding it. Yeah, that doesn't like this bit up here. This is this seems to be a little bit uh, iffy just here. But it's it's going well. It's doing uh, actually. What am I doing? Holding on to it. This on onto cruise control. Save my poor foot having to be in the same position all the time. When you get to my age, you think about such things. And I maybe the episode after the next. I think this one will be cutting this, and the next one will be bailing it and moving it. 
especially as we hopefully will have the class uh, ready to go back. Don't want to be too late back, but I will be late back. I think we can start going up and down here next. I might just put it on GPS for going up and down here. Although not on this bit, it's really enough. I think an hour would have been plenty on this wheel. Still quite a bit to go, but you can imagine doing this with the with just the uh, Nova Cat. And I have done fields this sort of size with the Nova Cat. Um, I forget which one it was. It could have been Sh Challenging Standard, something like that. And had one massive uh, grass field. I don't think I've done it with a Nova Cat, but I don't with, this, with the ordinary centre front mower, and that was it. It took a long time. I was glad when it finished. And what we're going to do now is go back up and down there, so we will lift that. Let's level it. That's like lamb down again. I want to do this most I can, but I should do it inside. If I was, if I sensible knew from GPS, I'd be doing it inside cab. Looks like New Holland must be back, he's empty, oh he's filling up. Look, so right. Now he's just sitting there misreading the figures. I misread the HP figure, horsepower figure for fully what him. Not going to be a straight uh, win roll, it's going to be uh, in the same territory as uh, our good friend Auto Combine. Okay. Boat must be in the field, he's not going to mow because the combine is full. Didn't really want the combine to fill up. Need to keep it moving at the moment, but uh, the problem is if it unloads it from, as, as you know, it's from grain side, from field side, it tends to park in the way of the combine. So I'll wait until he gets there and I'll just swap back to it those again and see what's going on. <coughs> I'm sorry about that but the, a little bit of chocolate went down the wrong way. I hope we got it to uh, swallow and I got the clothes Another part of me, uh, anatomy of. Um, right, right there. But they're ready to go back. Let's just swap over onto those. And there, and there's. Yes, he's, he's got to park right in the way. Let's just. 
Going right out the way again. <coughs> series. One, two, one. <coughs> oh dear. Sorry if I just deafened you again. But we have got 21 minutes. We're going to be late. I think I'll just try and finish the moment off and call it an episode. I think we will be late with that. We will be taking uh, a hit financially on it, but that's the corn itself has not cost us any money to grind. I think it's a it's something we can easily take. We still got 123,000 in the bank, and that's after buying the the bailer. It's quite a pleasant little job, just running up and down here and missing uh, lumps of grass. Because uh, it would help if I had to cut a straight line. I think too I'm going to now we can afford we might just be able to afford a large sprayer. I sell the sprayer we've got now and buy a night. <coughs> well, I think we might be just below that at the moment. this bailed up before the end of the day because we're on the last day before the next growth stage we might actually finish this so I'm not going to finish that in this episode what we'll try and do is finish this off off screen <coughs> get the get this back, get the class back and then start buying the next episode and hopefully we'll be ready then to go on to the uh, um, on to the next part on soil mod whilst we're busy cutting another field I will I won't bother to hire another combine until we get to the next day Do one more pass. This is a very nice little tool to use. Why it wasn't put in to the base game this time around? When you look at your base stuff on big fields, and there are some very big fields. Uh, vanilla map and the vanilla, vanilla maps you don't want to be cutting them in with the butterfly cutters it is a long long job and this is about 13 meter cut I think and it's water if you use the vanilla butterflies it's about 10 meter cut something like that but I don't swarf you then gotta go up and swarf it. Alright. Well whilst we're coming down this side, I will say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. If you're not a subscriber and wish to see more whatever it is I do. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, you'll be then notified every time I put a video, which is about every day. Um, six, six days it's farming sim on five different maps, and on the seventh we'll find most 
the corn software doesn't let me down is a multiplayer forest with the uh, the old timers uh, myself by the prophet and Shawnee B well Shawnee B is still a baby of the bunch any comments queries or anything else feel free to, to write in the comments bit if you've got a few minutes on your hand, uh, pay a visit to both ourselves at pgsg.uk and to Modern Central. Uh, I haven't got their exact address on, and we are sort of semi partnered with them. You will see a lot of um, uh, some old blokes uh, on our site, and you'll see a lot of us on there so we need to sort of swap around a bit and with that it's me and saying cheerio for now cheerio